Welcome to Monday Night Football's virtual reality special. Jamie Carragher is poised, as you can see, with the headset. Huge goal yesterday in the 94th minute at Villa Park, which gave Spurs victory, scored by Young Min's son, and a big mistake from Bjorn Engels. Right, Jamie, first of all, put yourself in his position. What should he have done? Well, we're going to look at it. The lads covered it yesterday, what he should have done. I think we're going to look in the, in the eyes of him now and what he saw as that ball comes. So it starts with a goal kick from Pepe Reina. It's that first initial challenge in the middle of the pitch there, but you actually look at the three defenders there for Aston Villa. In a great position, they've pushed up, team are really compact, and here's Engels there. Now, the man, he's up against his son, he's in a good position, he's tight, but he's also given himself a few yards as well if the ball goes over his head. The ball then goes to the centre-back there, and it's just about to go over the top. And you see Son there ready to take off. The position the defender's in is perfect. If it goes over his head, he can spin. And he's there if it goes to his feet. The ball is not going to carry over his head beyond angles. So he decides he's got to deal with it now. His decision is, can he get there before it bounces and maybe volley it away? Or then, does he actually drop off and try and control it? He almost gets in between. And as it comes on there, now... It's that really awkward one where it just bounces just in front of you. And... So what's your percentage play? Well, he's got to know that Son's made the run and the fact is if he misses this ball, he's got a massive problem. So it's not even that he has to control it beautifully or perfectly because there's no real attackers around him. Son's made that run. Just make sure he gets something on the ball. He ends up trying to go with his studs instead of maybe the side foot or just get his full body behind it. Anything to stop that ball running through. And then you look at the danger there and Son's it. And there's no way this defender is going to catch this man, Son, the pace that he's got. All right, let's switch it. Let's put, uh, put ourselves in, in his shoes, Jamie. And... Um... To see really how difficult it, it looked simple on the day, but how difficult it was for Son. No, I, I think the, the great thing Son does. Here we go. The great thing Son does is when this kick happens here now, and we go into him. All he's thinking of when the ball goes back is, is this ball going to go over the top for me? And he just makes that run. Look, he sees the space in behind, it's there, and he's just hoping for a mistake. Really, if he runs behind, maybe Jose Mourinho saying, stay here, get hold of the ball, bring other players into it. But he takes that chance that there's going to be a mistake or the ball's going to find him in behind. You see the defender miss it, and now he's running. The thing I love is here, he actually prefers to stay at an angle. He doesn't go right for the centre of the goal. If you remember the chance Deli Ali had, where he went really central, there was almost no angle to put the ball in. You look around there, there's people coming. Anyone else here? No, not this side. And there, he stays on this angle. What about the keeper's positioning? I think it's absolutely perfect. I think if this goal doesn't go in, that man in front of us, Pepe Reina, gets man of the match. I think he was the best player. There's barely an angle from there, Jamie, isn't it? No, there? it isn't. But rather than running straight on top of a goalkeeper, at least it does give him the chance to open his body up and try and find that corner. And I just think that when you look at it from here, how difficult to finish that is to win the game, and as I said, that was it needed a finish like this to go past Pepe Reina, the form that he was in yesterday. And a vital goal from Son, but you know, a vital player for Spurs, really. And what a vital goal, and who knows how vital that goal will be towards the end of the season. Yeah, could be a, a huge goal, not just for Spurs, but for Aston Villa in the context of their season as well.